storing the data you're going to work with for your analysis in Excel default file format isn't a good idea because other spreadsheet software may not be able to open files saved in proprietary Excel format and also different versions of Excel may handle data differently leading to some inconsistencies. We saw this as an example when we looked at dates where the computer read the dates differently. So now this is the final part of today's lesson and I'm basically just going to be showing you how to export or save your data from Excel, um, sorry, from Excel format to um, CSV format. So basically this is to ensure that your data is compatible with other applications <clears throat> as we saw on the previous, um, in the previous section where we looked at dates, where we saved um, our data um, in CXV, but we opened it in plain text and we noticed that it wasn't really reader friendly. We couldn't really tell what was there because everything was just jumbled up. Um, and then we opened it in Excel format after saving it as CSV and we noticed that there was um, information missing. And <clears throat> having it saved in CSV is always the best solution because we know that it's compatible with most applications. So it is the safest um, bit. And here, as you can see, our data is now saved as CSV format. It kind of looks the same as Excel. So you can't really tell the difference, but the format actually does much, much um, great work in other applications as compared to Excel. Well, we've reached the end of our lesson and thank you. And I do hope that you were able to learn something and that you'll put some of the stuff that we've learned into good um, use going forward and that you will work on the exercises as that will help you to gain more practice and be more confident in using some of the stuff that was introduced to you today. <laughs>